We have found locally that Trinidad has very many, very qualified people that could do all sorts of functions at a very high degree of skill and expertise. We handle here, because of our dealings with the oil and gas industry, we handle all sorts of shipments that are odd sized in length, in, in, in dimensions, in weight, in commodity type. Very happy with the quality of, of employee that we've had here in those areas, in, in logistics, in cargo handling, yeah, the, the load master, the aircraft mechanics, very skilled people and very competent. In fact, there are times when we have aircraft that need particular work to be done to them and we will bring that aircraft here to Trinidad and get the work done by our local mechanics. Insofar as the comparison of the skill labor or the type of skill labor that is available here, I would definitely say that Trinidad and Tobago can hold its own on the world stage. We have people here that are just as capable and just as competent of doing any type of job in the skilled area as anybody else anywhere else in the world. And that's why this hub here has been as successful as it has, because we have been able to maintain the aircraft, to dispatch the aircraft, to bring in the cargo, to move the logistics, to transfer cargo, just like we were in any other our first world country. Another one of the advantages that the Trinidad and Tobago brings is its geographic location. We have found that poised at the tip of South America, just on the outskirts of South America, we are uniquely poised, uniquely placed where we can uh, deliver special services as a cargo hub and especially as an airline cargo hub. We would be, apart from Guyana, the only or the nearest English-speaking um, country to all of South America. The geographic location of Trinidad is also, it also brings an added advantage insofar as the fact that we are below the hurricane belt, we don't get affected adversely by many storms during the year, and uh, we are able to escape a lot of the, the weather challenges that many of the other islands in, in the Caribbean do have. We have had normal operation here for more than 20 years without any disruption due to weather. Um, we have good internet um, capabilities so that the local communication and international communication is uninterrupted. We are able to download forms and comply with regulations and print documents and do all of the things that need to be done for the normal course of international business without any disruption whatsoever. I am very pleased with the role that the government has taken and the path that they have taken to bring this electronic means of clearing of goods into the, in, in, into the system and it is working quite well. We have all of our staff here totally trained in the use of the system and we are working along with Customs and their team to implement it and, and to roll it out as quickly as possible because it will help in the seamless movement of goods. When we look at things, 10 years ago, there were perhaps two local courier companies in addition to four or five of the international brands that everybody is aware of. Today, there are more than 30 local courier companies that have started up. And there's definitely a rise towards e-commerce. Many, many people are getting into the e-commerce. Um, uh, many types of businesses are starting up based on the premise that they can go online and order stuff for their customers, have it brought in, cleared customs and delivered to the door. We have on average probably about 10,000 pounds a day that comes into Trinidad that is all e-commerce. Of course we have a thriving boat industry here where a lot of the yachts come and again as we talked about earlier with the geographic location of Trinidad especially in the rainy season, in the hurricane season, a lot of the yachts come south into Trinidad where it's a little bit safer or the insurance companies perceive it to be safer in the way of hurricanes and whatnot. And when those yachts come down here, they do maintenance on the boats and so on. And they, they fly in all of the parts that they need. They might bring a 20-foot mast, they might bring new sails, they might bring antenna, radio, whatever, and they bring all of that stuff in. And it, it, it works for them. 
I believe that for a startup business, somebody wanting to get into business, there is a, a huge opportunity here in Trinidad where you will find the infrastructure that does work and you will find skilled labor and you will find an environment of rules and, and local regulations that do encourage business.